Welcome back to our class channel. Okay, for today's lesson, we are going to learn about Google Sheet. What it is? Okay, Google Sheet is a kind of spreadsheet that have rows and columns that can be filled with numbers and we can easily arrange and do calculation. Okay, let's see how it is done. You will understand better how spreadsheet works by looking at the example that we are going to do. Okay, first, you have to key in Google Sheet free and make sure you press this Google Sheet free online spreadsheet for personal use and as usual you have to press personal and go to google sheet okay this one looks familiar but this time around is a google sheet it's not a form yeah i wanted to press blank and you will be presented with this blank sheet okay it consists of rows we have row number one number two number three number four number five and the rest and we have column that is arranged in alphabetical order we have a b C, D, E, and so on. Okay? Each of the box is called a cell. Okay? This is called a cell. And each of the cell have their own ID or their own address. For example, this is A1. Why? Because it is at A column and O1. Alright. So let's do another one. This one is B4. Why? Because this box reside in column B and O4. Okay, let's try another one. What it is? Very good. This one is B7. Okay. Let's see what we can do with this. Okay. I want to go into A1. A1. And I wanted to write in numbers of students in the school. This one is the title of our information. Okay, I want to try in the header as class. The other one is boy. The third one is girl. And the fourth one is daughter. Okay, let's say we have a class name A, B, and C. Okay, just make it C because sometimes it automatically put in the words that we have written before. You just erase that one and just make it as C. Okay, let's say in A class we have 10 boys and we have 10 girls. For B, we have 
five boys and we have 15 girls. And for class C, we have 12 boys and we have eight girls. Okay. How are we going to put in a total? Okay, we can do it by using a calculator, but that one is not very convenient. That's the use of spreadsheet. We are going to fill this cell automatically. How to do that? Okay, I want it to go into D3. D3. Okay, just highlight D3. You can see the, the blue box over here. And I wanted to press this thing, these three dots. It's a more button. Just press these three dots. And you have this function. Press functions. Okay, I wanted to choose sum. What is sum? Sum is if you want to add numbers right if you want to add numbers we call it sum okay okay first when this thing appear equals sum and we have this bracket you just go into b3 right because you want to take the value of B3 and we want to add to C3 okay we just take B3 and we are going to add to C3 how to do that we put a comma over here and we put C3 right so that means B3 will be added to C3 all right after you have done this you just press enter okay can you see this one is a sum of this boys 10 boys and 10 girls 10 girls and we have 20. okay let's do the other one we do a function of sum okay we want to add b4 after that after that we put a comma and the other one is you want to add C4 because this 15 is in a cell called C4. Okay, we have to make sure this thing is right. B4, comma, C4. That means we are going to add B4, that is 5, to C4. C4 that is 15. Make sure there is a comma in between. And then you just press enter. Alright. And the third one, we are going to do the same thing, but this time we are going to do a shortcut. How to do that? Okay, it is very easy actually. You just highlight the one that is above. This is number 20. Can you see this thing turns into into a cross, into a plus sign. Make sure it turns into, into a plus sign. And I want you to hold the left mouse button and drag it down. Alright. So that means this thing will be duplicated here. So that means this thing, the formula in D4 will be duplicated here 
Okay, that means there are two ways for you to do this. You can use this sum again and do it as before, the same method as before, or you can just I do it again, highlight the above value until you can until you can find the cross sign, make sure that the cross or the plus sign appear, not the hand sign. Okay, make sure it is the plus sign. And you hold the left mouse button and you drag your mouse below it. Right. So that means the formula here will be copied into D5. Okay, it's not only the value but also the formula. Okay. And this value is taking its value from B5 and C5. Okay, let's check. It's from B5. and C5, that is 8. And for this one, it's going for to be B4, 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 and C4. And the first one is going to be from B3, B3, this one is B3, and C3. Okay. So we have these three numbers for you. To add up because you want to make a total of here. Okay. Thank you very much. We see you again in our next video to complete the lesson.